Adrian, why did the Clippers decide to make this decision? Uh, Ryan, Steve Ballmer, uh, the owner of the Clippers, you know, had tremendous expectations, as did Doc Rivers and, and many around the NBA who considered the Clippers a championship favorite. And the way that they went out this year, losing in the conference semifinals, blowing a 3-1 lead to Denver, ultimately... Uh, changes were going to come, are going to come to this Clippers organization. They started with Doc Rivers today, and this is a difficult search for the Clippers. They are, this is a championship or bust organization right now, and I think the next coach isn't so clear as to who that might be. There's certainly some candidates, but Doc Rivers ultimately paid the price uh, for a team that um, talent-wise was among the very elite in the league. Uh, but clearly underachieved on the court and, and in the bubble. Well, as we mentioned, he really rebuilt the culture there, but again, came up short in the playoffs. So who will the Clippers look to now, do you think, to replace Doc Rivers and take over this team that's built to win a championship? Uh, again, uh, Ryan, I, I think it's a, it's a challenging search. I don't think there's an obvious choice out there for them. And, uh, you know, Ty Lu on their own staff, Listen, this is a championship coach in his own right. In Cleveland, came in this year very close to Doc Rivers um, and, by all estimations, made a great impression there. He is a candidate uh, in some other places, including Philadelphia, New Orleans. Uh, our Jeff Van Gundy at ESPN uh, is considered one of the best minds out there um, and, and one of the most accomplished coaches. Uh, but, listen, I think... They're going to have to take a step back here with the Clippers. I don't think the next coach is clear to them. I think there's a search process that will start here. Uh, but this is going to be, uh, for them, a real challenge. They have Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, who both uh, could become free agents if they want it again next year. And, and so this is a team that uh, I think will continue to likely tinker with their roster and try to find the right formula uh, to you know, be able to challenge the Lakers in the West and get out of the West and, and, and win a title. Difficult situation. Not only manage this team, but manage the expectations, which are sky high. So, as you mentioned, there's a number of jobs out there, a number of places looking for head coaches. Doc Rivers would be at the top of many teams' list. So, uh, where does he look to fit, and how does he fit into some of those possible head coaching vacancies? Yeah, I think Doc Rivers uh, is probably going to take a step back and take a look around and see if he wants to get right back in and do any of these jobs appeal to him. Uh, I think for Doc Rivers, he could continue to be very particular about where he might want to go next if he wants to continue coaching. Uh, but certainly he's considered one of the elite coaches in the league. Uh, you know, whether or not, you know, even some of the jobs that are open now fit financially would fit for him if the rosters would fit, if the cities... Uh